great to be starting out a new week with uh, some fitness goals in mind and healthy in mind and body. So happy to be here. Momentum Fitness in Hamilton with owner Tyler. How you doing, buddy? Good, how are you? Good to see you, man. Yeah, you too. Thanks for connecting. So we're, we're kind of doing a little circuit training here to get our bodies warmed up. Exactly. Just some neat, deep, deep knee bends, if I say it properly. Yeah. Right? Any, any technique that uh, we need? Really you know? just uh, sitting back in the hips, uh, sitting straight down. You want to squeeze the glutes on the way up to get the glutes working with your quads. Um, in terms of depth, you don't have to go this low if your knees and hips don't allow. So we always say just go as deep as you can. Okay. Um, how you doing? Good, you? I know, it's, it's, it's t I'm doing great, but it's tough for, for uh, an owner of a boutique spot. Because you, when did you purchase the Momentum? I bought Momentum December of 2019, so about three, four months right before the first lockdown. Okay. So how are you, how are you surviving? Uh, it's been challenging to say the least, especially with the fear that surrounds gyms and cleanliness and stuff like that. We're very lucky because we've always been a very clean gym anyway, so when we did reopen after the first lockdown, not much changed from us on a cleanliness standpoint. Um, and then just the support from our members, our community, and then the government support as well has been super helpful. I know it's, hot, it's tough because we're doing workouts and we're talking at the same time. I know, time. I'm out of breath right now. <laughs> it's tough though. Okay, so we got some deep knee bends. Um, next kind of, because we're kind of doing a circuit. So a, a good thing next would be? Yeah, so when we do circuits, we like to do a lower body exercise, an upper body exercise, and then a core. So you okay. get a really well-rounded workout in. So we're gonna start with push-ups next. Okay. I'll show you two Simple ways. One. From easiest to hardest, so easiest would be yep. from your knees like this, nice flat back. Right. You're gonna come down and then push back up, breathing out every time you push. Option two, if you wanna make that more challenging, we're gonna come up onto our toes yep. and then all the way down and then pushing back up. None of those Perfect. cheating ones, right? Where you're just not, where you're not going all the way down? Exactly. Because that's what we tend to do with push-ups sometimes because we wanna get as many in, but we're going Exactly. Quickly like that and not going all the way down. Exactly. And every time you breathe, you want to think about breathing out as you push the earth away from you. Okay. So the gym is closed. So you're teaching totally virtually. Yeah, we're totally virtual right now. We're actually doing virtual personal training. Um, we're doing virtual classes. We have home programming if you want more of an individualized approach. And then we're also renting equipment to people. Oh, there's that side too, because you have so much equipment that's just sitting here. How's that program going? Uh, very well, actually. Yeah. yeah, it's just a month to month rental. Um, with your rental, we can also provide you a home program as well with that, so you know what to do with the equipment that you've purchased. Well, I guess it's good because if they have the equipment and you're doing the virtual, that will get them kind of connected to the virtual side of it. Exactly. Right? Obviously, you can't rent out the big stuff. Exactly. Um, lastly, what's the good thing is we go to break? We're going to do a side plank. Okay. So we're going to come up. I'll show you two options again. Option one, from your knees, lifting your hips up. This is going to work your oblique on that underside. Okay. Or if you want to make it a little more challenging, we're going to stack the feet yeah. and come up just like this. And we're just holding it. Just holding it. How long would you hold it for? Uh, we'll do 30 seconds. Okay. You can make it a little more dynamic if you want by reaching up. Up like that. And then doing a thread the needle so you reach under you and then open back up. Cool. Okay. And you're really going to feel that through your left side. We'll take a break. We'll come back with Tyler here at Momentum Fitness. Two different locations in Dundas and here on George Street in Hamilton. Now that we're into the second week of January, how are those resolutions going? If you even did them. If becoming physically fit or continuing your fitness was uh, one of those goals or resolutions, we're here at Momentum Fitness. On George Street in Hamilton, back with owner Tyler. Tyler, we're just doing some simple lunges here, right? Back yep. to that kind of circuit training that you're teaching online. Exactly, and in the last set we did squats, which are a bit easier for your legs. This is gonna challenge your legs a bit more because you're doing a single leg movement. Okay, um, you have different ideas when it comes to resolutions. I do, yes, exactly. What, what are they? So, so I find when it comes to New Year's resolutions, it does put a lot of pressure on people to set goals, and if you're not ready to set goals or you don't have a goal in mind, that pressure isn't really necessary. And if you're not ready to work towards whatever goal you've set out, then you're not gonna have very much success. So we're actually big fans of just starting now 
um, as we chatted about, we're doing a virtual challenge over the holidays. And that seems a bit off because the holidays can be a busy season. Yeah. But we're big fans, like I said, of starting now and learning to navigate those busy times uh, with your fitness routine, right? Okay. So, yeah. Uh, lunges, next. Next, we're gonna go down into a high plank. Okay. Hands stacked under your shoulders. And we're gonna reach right arm to left shoulder. So not going down, just a plank. Exactly, left arm to right shoulder. Good. Does, so, it, does it matter where your feet are? The more narrow they are, the harder it's gonna be. We wanna keep those hips steady. Now, if that feels a bit too much, uh, too much of a challenge, making your feet wider is gonna give you a bigger base and make it easier to keep those hips level. What I tend to be doing here too is, when I'm moving my arm over, I'm bringing my momentum all the way over that, over to the right side. Yeah, what we wanna do is try to keep those shoulders square so your back is a flat tabletop. I wanna be able to put my beer on your back without it spilling. <laughs> That's motivation. <laughs> um, who do you find are the most successful when it comes to keeping a routine? Because that's what this is all about, right? Yeah. Getting into that routine and then staying with your routine. For sure, yeah. So I think two, two things. So one, people who are really rooted in their why on why they're doing what they're doing. So if, you just, if I just ask you why are you exercising right now and you say you're just trying to lose weight, we want to dig deeper than that. Ask yourself, why do you want to lose weight? Maybe it's so you fit in your clothes better. Ask yourself why you want to fit in your clothes better. And just keep going, and the deeper you go, the more you really find out what your why is. And then the other thing too is just having a good plan in place. Because uh, I always say, no one's ever highly motivated 24-7. Uh, even successful people have lows in motivation. So the, pe the people that are successful, they're people that carry out those habits even when motivation is low. And they're typically able to carry out those habits because they know their why, and they have a good plan in place and trust the process. Consistency will be key. Last one we're doing here is? Bicycles. Okay. So we wanna slow these down a bit. Slow them down. Keep your lower back press down into the mat and then pull your belly button down into the mat. Okay. So your core braces nice and strong. Make sure you're breathing. Slow it down again. There we go, nice. Okay. You should feel a good burn through that core. Yeah. Okay, your locations are closed in, on George Street here in Hamilton and in Dundas, but Virtual, way to go. Absolutely. Get momentum. .ca, getting a sweat going on a Monday. Best feeling Woo. on Morning Live. Oh, the burn. All right, good morning. Back here at Momentum Fitness in Hamilton, getting a good sweat going. Good way to, to start the week. Back here with uh, owner Tyler. Good to see you, Ty. Um, so you've been in this business for a while, but you purchased this business when? Uh, December of 2019. Perfect timing. Right before the first lockdown. Oh goodness, and this industry is such, taking such a, a hit. It is, um, yeah. How are you surviving? Um, it's been a challenge for sure, but I think uh, we're resilient and we have such great support from our members and from our community, and that's really what's gonna help us get it through. I think at the end of the day too, what brings us into work each day is providing our members with value to try to make them healthier. So we've switched everything virtual and uh, just trying to keep people exercising and moving from at home. Am I doing these right? Yeah, so we so want to are, these are, these, are, these, are, these are called what? Curtsy lunges. Curtsy lunges, because my knee's going out really far. Yeah, so we want to keep that knee right over your toes, not past your toes. Okay. And then switch, keep that knee over your toes, good. And this gets your body moving laterally. Most exercises that we do, you're moving backwards or forwards, right. or you're stationary. So this just gets you moving in a lateral plane of motion, gets the heart rate up. Good, next is plank push-ups. Push -ups. So start in a high plank, yeah. then down to your elbows, and then back up to your hands. How are you finding your clients are doing on the mental side of things through this? Yeah, it's tough. We cast a wide net of members, and a lot of them are parents that are homeschooling kids right now. Um, they've either lost their job or their jobs have been affected. So there are some people that are having a really tough time right now. The great thing about our virtual classes and staying connected with them, it does give them a, like a little highlight of their day, helps relieve some stress, and just makes their day a little more fun. Is it hard to read them virtually rather than being physically here in the gym? It is, I think we can all agree that doing things through a screen versus in person is a little more challenging, uh, but you make do with what you can, right? How is these, uh, why are we doing these? 
These are great for uh, upper body strength. You're gonna work your shoulders and your triceps, as you can tell. Shoulders are burning, yes. Yeah, it works your core as well. We wanna keep those hips steady. And if this ever gets too challenging, we can also drop to our knees. Drop to our knees. This makes it a bit easier, and you do your plank push-ups from your knees. Why didn't you start with that, Ty? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's finish, uh, what do you wanna finish with? Uh, we're gonna do dead bugs next. So you're yeah. gonna lie on your back. Hands up, feet up, like you're a dead bug lying on your back. Okay. You're gonna extend opposite arm, opposite leg. Ooh, Bring okay. it back in. And now do the other side. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Oh, both Bring up. it back in. Takes a bit of thinking. <laughs> we wanna keep your lower back pressed down to the ground. And we wanna pull your belly button down to the ground. That's how you really brace your core. Oh, wow. this, e this exercise has a lot of modifications. So it's really good for good back health. And it's not about speed. Exactly. Hopefully not. <laughs> Slower is better. Good, okay. Good. Let's, take a, awesome. let's take a break. Come back here with Tyler. Keep the locations Tim. are closed on George Street. Oh, right up my face, hey Luke? Uh, George Street in Dundas, but you can go online. Getmomentum.ca. Look at him shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the virtual challenge. Woo. See how much I can squat on a Monday. Good morning live. 12 more. All right, our last visit here at Momentum Fitness in Hamilton. Uh, they're closed, obviously, but uh, we're in here with owner Tyler, kind of demonstrating what you could be signing up for for a, a virtual workout. And you got something, Tyler, called virtual challenges, right? Because that's yes. we've been talking a lot about the mental side of things, right? What's a virtual challenge? So our virtual challenge is uh, the one that we're currently running is 21 days. It started through the holidays and it actually teaches people how to at least do one thing that contributes towards their health each day. Um, and we have a bingo card. So each day they complete the challenge, they get to check off their bingo card. I think we're all kids at heart. We love getting those gold stars. Uh, but I think the biggest thing is that it does bring a lot of joy to people throughout the holidays, especially through the second lockdown, because it was right. especially tough not being able to see family throughout the holidays. We're just doing a squat here with the kick. What's the kick bringing to us? So that kick adds a little hip, bit of hip abduction, which is going to work your glute medius. Your glute medius is a hip stabilizer. We want to keep those strong, so if you're walking, running, um, or balancing, you're going to have more hip stability. And we don't want it out here. No, so that. that forward kick is going to activate your hip flexors instead. We want to make sure we're kicking out right to the side to get that glute working. So think of pulling through the heel of your foot okay. versus the toe. Next. Next, uh, we have bird dogs. So this is kind of like a dead bug. Just we're on yeah. our hands and knees. What are they called? Bird dogs. Bird dogs. Okay. So we're going to stretch out opposite arm, opposite leg. Bring it back in. Try not to touch the ground and reach back out. We want to keep that back nice and flat, again, so that you can keep your beer from spilling. <laughs> I'm trying to grab it. <laughs> yeah! pull, um, that, pull that belly button up towards your spine. What do you t talk to your clients about? Like, you know, we all have them, those tough days, when you don't really want to work out, and you start doing a workout, and it's not going well, and you just want to quit. Yeah but the satisfaction you get if you're able to push through. Totally, and that's one of the greatest things about strength training and exercise. It really helps you build resilience and mental strength to be able to push through those hard times. And often those hard days are the days when we need it the most. So often we ask clients that are experiencing those days, we ask them to take a mental note how they feel before they start, and then take another mental note as they end. And then often they're like, oh wow, the, like I feel way better. And if they always remember how they feel after the workout, that'll help them push through those harder days. Finishing with abs. Yeah, okay. Tim, if you want to make that harder, tuck those knees in as you come up and then bring the feet down without touching the ground. How are we able to do our laundry on our abs? Is it, does it matter if we're going towards our knees or bringing our knees back or what's the yeah, knee so tie? By tucking your knees in on every rep, that's going to help you activate that lower core. And then obviously that crunch with your upper body is gonna help you target that upper core. So it's a good way to get your full core working. And between the four segments here, we've actually been able to hit your core in all different ways. So you're saying I got a six pack now? Yeah, you're golden. <laughs> but it's also diet too. Exactly, right? we always say abs are made in the kitchen. So focusing on uh, like a habit-based approach with your diet is very important. Just putting an emphasis on 
like whole healthy foods, uh, but still leaving space for the fun foods because we're all human and food is also a social thing. So we want to make sure we enjoy our diet. Thanks for, the, uh, thanks for the tips. My pleasure. Best of luck. Uh, good boutique spot here in Hamilton. Uh, making it work, right? Getmomentum.ca to sign up with uh, Tyler and his uh, virtual classes. Back to some more apps. Come thanks, on. Tim. Let's, Let's do, do it. Let's do it. Squeeze that Squeeze. core. Slow it down. And bring those feet right above the ground when you open up. <laughs> 